Do you see that? It seems to me like you guys are getting financial freedom. Reeds always have money, and I feel like some of you have been waiting forever for this money to come in, but they keep saying it's coming, it's coming, it's right there around the corner, and it keeps coming up in your reads. That's why I keep having to talk about this. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Holy crap, are you getting the money? The World Seven of Swords. You're being stalked on social media. Somebody is trying to find you on social media. Now, it could be in person, but for a lot of you, it's like you're being stalked through the computer. Okay, I do see here somebody is searching you up on the computer or several people are searching you up. Okay, okay Taurus, we're going to have a TikTok notification right when I start this. So TikTok, either the clock is ticking for you or you are on TikTok or you're going to be big on TikTok. Anyhow, welcome to your read. This is whatever comes up. Truly grateful for your energy and your lights. If you're new, do make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the Lee Tree League in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for Taurus. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance. And celestial light. Okay, Taurus. What's going on? What message? We have Mars again. This came out in the Scorpio read. Okay, so this time Mars is upright. This is the Emperor, the Tower, the Fool. This is Aries energy. Then you have number six here, crossing on his side. That's the lovers on the side. Gemini energy. This is Mercury getting ready to station direct. Then you have Virgo on its side. This is the Hermit on its side. This is Mercury getting ready to station direct as well. You have both number six on the side. And the Hermit card number 9 on the side. You have a number 6 and number 9. Mm. Theoretically speaking, number 6 and number 9 make Cancer. Correct? If we look at the zodiac sign of Cancer. So we have Cancer there as well. As well as the energy of the moon. Virgo, the full moon today, at the time that I'm recording this, is... And Virgo. Mm. And I'm going to get a notification. What do we have at the bottom? The world. Okay, Taurus. The world, seven of swords. You're being stalked on social media. Somebody is trying to find you on social media. Now, it could be in person, but for a lot of you, it's like you're being stalked through the computer. Okay, I do see here somebody is searching you up on the computer or several people are searching you up, okay? They're trying to see where you're at, where you live, what you do for a living. Okay, they're trying to see your whereabouts, what you're up to. Yes, I'm hearing an ex here, a toxic ex or something, high school ex, high school prom date or something, five of swords, the world. Yeah, people that just give you a random headache are trying to get in your energy. Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, okay, Taurus. Quite a few people here are looking at you, okay. A Sagittarius is looking at you, and another Taurus is looking at you. I feel like you're not interested, though. I feel like you're not interested. Someone could be Cherokee Indian, or very, very close ties to the Cherokee peoples. Nine of Wands crossing judgment in reverse. The star. Okay, Spirit is saying don't interact with anybody reaching out to you online. Okay, it's something here about like weird people, especially if they're like a Scorpio or they have Scorpio in their show. Like you need to wash out or if you have scorpio in your chart scorpio or aquarius right you need to wash out it's like there's going to be communication here coming in this could be one to seven people yeah seven of swords their intentions are not 
uh, a, they're, they're not pure, the Seven of Swords. There's an element of deception here, Taurus. You need to be careful, okay? These people could be reaching out to you the 17th of March, okay? St. Patrick's Day or March 27th, March 29th for some of you, okay? You need to be very, very careful. Why are these people reaching out to Taurus? This is this is people that you haven't spoken to in a long time. What are their intentions? Knight of Pentacles. It seems money related. Seven of Wands in reverse. Five of Wands. Wow. People are mad that you have boundaries or something. Eight of Cups. Queen of Swords, Taurus, you're walking away from the BS. All of the BS, all of it. That's why I have attitude. That's why I have sass in this read. Because Taurus, that's what you're going to do this month. You're going to walk away from everybody. People that keep irritating you, annoying you, bothering you, getting on your nerves, disrespecting you, crossing your boundaries over and over again when you've told them no repeatedly. It's like, this is where you walk away. This is where you walk away and these people are getting mad. People are getting mad because you're putting up your boundaries here. But you're going to be in that cold-hearted B-I-T-C-H energy. And you're not even going to respond, too. You see you see her, the way she's sitting, she's not even bothered. She's not paying attention, you know, regardless of who you are. It's like, you're not paying attention to this. You don't want to hear it. And you're not lowering your energy for this. But these people are mad. They're so, They're so mad at you. Why are they mad? It's like all these people are just mad at you. Why? Why are they mad at Taurus? Why are they mad at Taurus? Queen of Cups? Because you love yourself. You respect yourself. This is triggering. You're triggering people. And notice the water is very clear. It's like you're... You're clear-headed. You have a clear vision. The moon. Yeah, you're very in tune with your energies. The strength card in reverse. And you're humble. You're very in tune with your energy. You're empathic. You're loving, caring, kind, nurturing. And you are humble. You don't let your pride get in the way. Your ego get in the way. And you trigger these people. You trigger these people. You also are very free. It seems to me like you guys are getting financial freedom. Six of pent wow, six of pentacles and a ton of pentacles and a ton of cups. Do you see that? It seems to me like you guys are getting financial freedom. That's what this seems to imply. And then you have the ten of cups and a ton of pentacles. That's a powerful energy. Very, very beautiful energy. That's success and the riches. That's peak emotional fulfillment. Peak emotional fulfillment and the riches. But look, three of swords. These third parties, for some of you, this is family. This could be your parents or your kids, your adult children. Six of Wands on the side. The sun. The sun is going to be at the bottom. They said take the lovers. The lovers is going to be there. Can you tell me about that lovers? The three of swords wanted to come out and the hangman. Let me take the three of swords. Hype. Forget it. Forget it here. There's a bunch of weird people doing spell work and whatnot. They're trying to get access to your money. They want access to your money. Okay. You're being watched by a bunch of people. It's very important you sort of move in silence here. You're about to receive some sort of blessing from the universe, okay? They keep talking about money. Money, 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 Taurus. Money, money, money. Your reads always have money. And I feel like some of you have been waiting forever for this money to come in. But they keep saying, it's coming, it's coming, it's right there around the corner. And it keeps coming up in your reads. That's why I keep having to talk about this. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Holy crap, are you getting the money? You are going to receive this blessing is huge, whatever this is. This is huge. It's coming out of nowhere. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. It's gonna it's gonna it's coming out of nowhere and it's gonna come so fast. 
like I'm telling you, spirit is sending your angel to drop to drop this off in your front door. You see, my throat chakra is gonna close up. Page of Swords in reverse. The hangman upright. Interesting. What is that about? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. People don't want to work. Taurus, people want to moosh off of your success. You need to be careful. You need to be really careful. People, people are starting to show their two colors here. That they want to moosh off of you. Yeah, death and the Queen of Cups. And literally, if you allow this, this will lead to your death. Like, you'll, you'll go into an early grave, okay, from the stress to anxiety, from dealing with these people. Yep, Knight of Cups in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. There could even be an ex-lover that is trying to get the money from you. Five of Pentacles, oh my god. Oh my god, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords. People are going to be fighting with you because of money. Because they want you to give them. They, they're demanding you give them money. That's why I had a read a while back where it was like, you need to keep this money quiet, Tauros. Because if not, people are going to start fighting with you. They're going to start wanting. They're just acting a whole mess. They're, they're acting ghetto, crazy, just out of control. Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yes, Spirit's saying yes. There could even be friends here that may ask you for $300 or something. There's something here about three hundred or three thousand dollars. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah, no, you're 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 gonna be moving yourself to calmer waters here from a lot of people. Five of Swords crossing again. Conflict arguments. Eight of Swords. King of Swords. The Emperor. Yeah, there, there's a past lover situation here, but you're like cutting, you're cutting them to pieces, Tauros. If I'm being honest, like you, you're ripping that person to shreds. You're, <laughs> Tauros, you are absolutely ruthless. You are ripping this person to shreds is what I'm saying here. This past lover, Six of Pentacles, uh, Knight of Swords again. Uh, the sun it's like you're coming into huge wealth here huge uh, a vast amount of wealth is is what you're coming into but it's, it's so unexpected it's coming out of nowhere yeah Tor taurus here and libra justice and the higher fence this is venus energy this is venus energy both libra and taurus are ruled by venus but not only that this is you guys receiving justice receiving what is rightfully yours okay receiving your good karma that's what this is but this ramp car spirit saying, look, your angel is trying to hold your mouth. Your, your angel is literally trying to keep y'all's mouth shut. You see, because sometimes a lot of you get very excited. Sometimes we get excited and we want to tell people these things. But look, look how the angel is there holding the lion's mouth shut. Don't say anything. Keep it a secret and hold it in, especially if there's a Sagittarius, okay? If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Or if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Libra, or a Leo, or a Taurus like yourself, you need to be especially careful with those signs, especially Scorpio is what I'm hearing. Like if there's a Scorpio there, you really need to wash out with that Scorpio, is something here like you will get stung by that stinger if you keep trusting, if you keep, uh, you know, leaving your wall down, leaving your guard down. Yeah, Knight of Cups, you see, water sign, Scorpio. If you keep letting this person come in, because this individual is very selfish, Nine of Cups and Death, I knew it. And for some of you, it's a fire sign, a Leo or a Sagittarius. You need to keep your guard up, you need to remain strong. You need to remain strong. And you need to not fold over. Yeah, dynamite. Excitement, passion, action, suspense, destroy, powder keg, fantastic, energetic, break up, catalyst for change, 
explosive, short fuse, firecracker, blast, sudden, unexpected, fast. This is what the issue is. These people just blow up. They don't know how to handle their emotions. Very likely, yeah. Very likely that y'all, y'all about to clash. You see, cabin. That's what spirit is saying. Isolate yourself. Isolate yourself. Pull yourself back. Okay, lonely, confined, detached, remote, secluded. Go within. Insulate, disengage, close off, kept apart, quarantine, island, segregate, separated, divide, disconnected, sequestered. You need to very much keep these finances to yourself. And this message is coming up again, and it's going to keep coming up until there is acceptance from at least the majority of Taurus Collective. It's going to keep coming up because some of you are thinking, well, maybe... You know, if I, if we work this out, or maybe they will respect my boundaries once I do this. No, they, they're not. Love, love, you know, and, and that's the thing with us fixed signs, because I'm a Leo. Us fixed signs, we can be really stubborn and not want to hear the truth. Even though we already know the truth, and even though other people are telling us the truth, sometimes we just don't want to hear it or accept it. But as your fellow Leo fixed sign, love, they're not going to respect your boundaries, they don't care about your boundaries. They just want the money. Somebody has to tell you this. You know, if you're thinking, if they told you they're going to respect your boundaries, your wishes, that's going to last for maybe a week or two. And then they're just going to go back to the same BS. Asking you for money, asking if you can lend them money. Saying you're rich, saying you got this and that. And that they need help paying their bills, their rent, etc., etc. Meanwhile, they're, you know... Going out every week, buying whatever they want, going out to eat. Going to the clubs with their friends, taking vacations. It's like you are the one making sacrifice. Yeah, empty emptiness. Moving on, no one home. Uh, cycle completion emptiness final endings beginnings devoid vacant separation making adjustments lonely new life graduating pioneer boldness destination or bust a cutting edge long journey trailblaze true grit challenge navigating uncharted territory resourceful team got your six unflappable courage balloons fun freedom high vibe relief rising up ascension aspiration success joyful Higher perspective, cheerful, attaining goals, stress-free, independence, let it go. You see, Spirit is saying, release that. Release that burden and let them deal. Yup, look, I can't make it up. Release that burden, dear John. Rejection, cold hard truth. Breaking up, set boundaries, divorce, strained situation. It's not you, it's me. The end, final word, cutting cords, something is not working. It's just not working anymore. You know, you could be married to this person. Okay, or there could be kids here, your adult children. Mental force, spiritual insight, hope and faith, wise judgment, power and strength. Kindness, life of the party, extroverted, motivate, precious, valued, holy, divine favor, revered. You see, spirit is saying for you to just do that coin toss and drop it where it needs to be dropped. But some of you are still thinking that these connections can be salvaged or this connection can be salvaged. But sometimes in life, we have to just accept that people don't want to change for nothing. You know, you can love somebody and somebody can love you. But if they don't respect you, then what are you going to do with that? Nothing but cut that BS out of your life for good. I tell people all the time, somebody can say they love you and love bomb you and buy all the gifts and flowers. But if they don't respect you, if they're toxic and abusive, what are you going to do with that? Where are you going to go with that? Love, you're not going to go anywhere with that. That's disrespectful. And not only that, you could be putting your life in danger. So what are you going to do with that? Nothing but cut that BS out of your life and live nice and peacefully out in your cabin in the woods or, you know, in your villa or where, wherever you're going to go live at, okay? But that's all I got to say. Keep that money quiet and keep it to yourself. It's your blessing. And spirit doesn't want these people getting any of it. 
because they have not changed. They have really not done much healing. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.